Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to episode 3 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, this episode, I picked up right where I left off. And, um, ye who hold the sacred sword, ye have returned to the appointed spot. If you wish to interrupt your adventure game again, speak to me, the one you have that you have marked to prove your encounter. If you wish to interrupt your adventure, game again, speak to me, the one you have marked to prove your encounter. Okay. Alright, now that we're a human, there's actually quite a few things we can do now. We can finally talk to the swordsman. This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join us at this special discount. So will you try it? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I have to take some rupees out of the bank, rip. <laughs> How old are you? You're not from around here, are you? Why are you dressed like that? Why, huh? Why? Oh my god, this kid's annoying. <laughs> do you have any problems? Any? If you do, tell it to us bombers. Tell us. Psst, wanna know about the bombers? Nah, I'm good. Why don't you wanna know? Why? Why? Uh, I hate kids like that. Bum ba ba da 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 dum ba da da dum ba dum. Okay, yeah, I, I promised I would talk about that. Um, she stamped, or he, can never tell what this character. He stamped, um, Link as a Deku scrub, so how is that stamp still on human Link's skin? I don't know. I'm gonna withdraw 30 rupees because I believe the other mini game that I want to try is cost 20. Actually, it may only cost 10 if I'm not mistaken. Expert course. <sighs> I didn't mean to slash that other... Oh, dang it. Okay. Didn't mean to slash that first log. You guys were t talking about Navi and Tattle. Ah, I see. I've actually only played Oot and uh, Majora's Mask, really. Um. Or at least those are the two I've beaten. <sighs> I feel like there's a slight bit of input lag. Yeah, definitely. Ah, crap. You have to hit every single... One of those logs. You know what? I don't care. I'll come back later.
What is that noise? Okay. I don't know. In here is the lottery shop. I'm setting my lottery numbers to 231. Now, one thing about this that you may not know is it's a little bit uh, gambling when you play it the first time, but they reveal the winning numbers at the end of the night. So we just have to come and see if we've gotten a prize, because I've had multiple times where I was lucky enough that 231 is actually the number that it chooses. Um, and I think that's partly because they um, have that programmed as a special number in there because of 23 is number one in Ocarina of Time. But I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that part. Oh, right. You know what we said we would do? We promised we would help the Great Fairy when we became human. So let's go do that. Let's go repair her a second time. Also, one other thing I want to show. Um, because I forgot to show this. If you try to leave Clock Town as a Deku Scrub, they won't let you. However, if you're Human Link, because you have a sword, have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child to like you to- Oh, a sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. A child with a sword is not a child. Yes. Just because he has a sword, he is not a child. You can go through there now. But I'm not going to. Oh, my friend also just gave me a list of things I can do. Okay, how do I get the um, bomber's notebook? in the, in the, uh, N64 version. <laughs> oh, okay. No, this is all I can offer you. Okay. Actually, anytime you come to the Great Fairy, she can um, heal you and fill up your magic meter. And we got the Great Fairy Mask. Okay, now that we got that, I'm going to gather some more rupees. This is not going well. Okay. Whoops. Anywho, up here, you can get up here as a Deku Scrub. I'm sure eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed the heart piece up in that tree. 
Which, if I would stop failing to jump... Our third piece of heart! Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more that can be done now. Um. Wait, but how do I break the balloon as Child Link? Or, I mean, regular Link. Do I have to break it as? So, my friends are telling me there's a way to get an item I want to show off. Which, again, this is a lack of my knowledge of the N64 version. Can I shoot this down as Scrub? But then talk to the kid as Child Link? Also, I keep calling him Child Link because he's, that's what they call him in Ocarina of Time, which this is a direct sequel to. Hey, just for you, guy, I can make you a member of our gang of bombers. But there is a test for becoming a bombers member. Come on, give it a try. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, line up, guys. <sighs> is there an easy way to get nuts? Also, am I allowed to use nuts? I know I was able to stop them with nuts in the 3DS version. Do I just have to trap them into a corner this time? I guess so. Great. Oh, I can just enter the hideout again as child? You didn't tell me I could do it much easier. Screw these kids. Whoops. I didn't mean to press A. Five. Five. Two. One, three, four, is that it? I memorized the code somehow. I don't know how, but I memorized it. The only other time I've ever memorized that code is when it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which can happen. It's rare, but it can happen. Wait, why am I even going up here? I don't need to go up here. Uh, Timing minigame, I want to do with... Whatever mask helps with that. I'm not sure which one. Hey guy, how do you know our secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen guy, you're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something, I like you. What's your name? Link, huh? Alright, that school kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Link, Link a new member of the bombers instead. This is the bombers notebook. Contains the words we live by. Read it over. This is what I wanted to show. Okay. I have no idea how this works. In the 3DS version, they streamlined this. Um... I also made the menu accessible by the touch screen only, but whatever. Okay, if we go in here, we can talk to... Oh dear, are you on a field trip, or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find, yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cathay. You know him, don't you? You don't, really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible, I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat, and I've lost five pounds. Okay, well, it's kind of bad that you can't get food down your throat, but I 
I'm gonna say this. You could stand to f lose a few pounds, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, of course, you are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. You've been given Cafe's mask and recruited to locate a missing person, and I cannot read. So... No idea how this works. Bombers are already complete. Yeah, that's why I don't really want them in my notebook. If it can only hold 20 people. What happens when you reach 20 people? Oh, here we go. I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. I should have a reservation, Goro. The name is Link. Don't you have it, Goro? Ah. Mr. Link, I do have your re reservation. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. This is your room key. Just like in Ocarina of Time, you can't always skip the text with B, which is really weird. Okay, I don't know what I was going to show in here, but, um, that wasn't really it. Here's the milk bar. What are you staring at? Sounds like your show has been cancelled. You don't really need to be here anymore. I came to drink. I'm a customer. Well then, customer, the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. Please wait till then. And besides that... This bar is for members only. Those without proof of membership will be refused entry. Well then I don't need milk. I just want to sit and think for a while. Just give me a place to do that. Fine, be my guest. Boy, doesn't this guy look familiar. Okay, what else can I do? Oh, right. What time does the event in North Clocktown happen? I've completed this game only once on the 3DS, like you said. And there's uh, some differences between the two versions, like this cutscene playing every time. Midnight, okay. I wasn't able to do the mini game I wanted to do, I'll have to do that at some other point. Finally, I wanted to show this. This is the inverted Song of Time. I'm not going to slow the current flow of time yet, because I've already wasted the time for what I really wanted to do. So I should have played ISOT beforehand, but it completely slipped my mind. Oh, 
Well, here's this guy again. Very suspicious. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Uh-huh, we'll see about that. I forgot I uh, started the kids thing, but I don't really want to do that at all. I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna wait here till midnight and then cut out all the time until midnight. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just thought of something I can do instead of wasting my time waiting for this. Um, I can check to see if I won the lottery. If not, I'm waiting for one of my friends to tell me a way to, first of all, the price of the item I want, that I'm going to keep not saying the name of yet, and the um, uh, never mind. Um, forgot what I was going to say. But I want to check the lottery to see if I won the 50 rupees. I've had multiple playthroughs where the first day lottery ticket was 231. So I'm hoping it was 231 again this time. Three twenty two. Okay. Three twenty two. Too bad. If you wish to buy a ticket, you can buy one tomorrow morning at six o'clock. Come again. I don't care about actually catching these kids, but... Alright, I'm going back to South Clocktown. Or North, I mean. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's one more thing I want to show off. Hopefully I have enough time to do this. Okay. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah yes, I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That that's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the- why was the- why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I- that's why I stole it. This dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. Interesting. All right, let's go find this place.
That there is. I forgot about that. And here's the event that I was waiting for. Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! Stop that man! Okay, I chased him. Away. I forgot about that way to get a hundred rupees. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. We got the blast mask, where it was C. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So tomorrow we can get the big bomb bag from her shop. And that way, you can skip the normal bomb bag entirely. <laughs> I thought there was an even easier way to jump across that. But I guess you do need this chicken. And here we go. We are about to get... One hundred rupees. Nice. And we should just... What is it? I want, to I want it to become daytime, so you can play this Song of du Double Time to proceed to the dawn of the second day. In which, I'm going to... Go over here. Yeah, oh, okay, I forgot to mention... The 3DS version had a very nice quality of life change for the Song of Double Time, where you could select any hour you want. So instead of having to go all the way uh, to the next 12-hour uh, cycle. So basically, the way it currently works is it's just like the Scarecrow, whereas in the 3DS version you can skip to any hour on that same day, or skip to da the dawn of the next day. From there, if you decide to skip to dawn of the next day, you can use the Song of Double Time again to skip to any time, any time you want on the next day. So, and it's raining in Clock Town on the second day, which is something I didn't mention earlier. And now I've completely forgotten where I was going. Oh, right. I want to see if the bomb shop's open. Welcome. We can now buy the big bomb bag. 
Thank you very much. Uh, man, I'm really struggling of thinking of things to do, even though I just got the bombs. I guess there's one thing I can show. Um, this doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna deposit my remaining nine rupees. So, if you remember, she said that she can give you, um, whatchamacallit, man, my brain is just not working right now. In any case, I want to go to the bombers. Hideout. And over here, there's a wall with a crack in it. Which you can blow up. and get another silver rupee. Which I am going to go immediately to the bank and deposit all 99. Actually, I'll deposit 89 and leave 10 rupees for a lottery ticket. So the first day numbers were 322, if I remember correctly, which I'm going to want to write down somewhere. Oh my god, I have the memory of the goldfish. Where was it going again? This is just part of my charm, I guess. Bank. Right. I'm hungry. I blame my hunger. That I actually remembered as soon as you said bank. Okay, so we just need 70 more rupees. And, um... This is crazy, but, um... Crap. There's no way it's gonna be 111 anyway. <laughs> well then. That was a fail. I'm just going to do the lottery three times just for the heck of it. Oh. I have to be outside to do that.
904. Okay. I was going I was going to set the numbers to 231 again. Originally. Okay. Um I feel like I kind of messed up this cycle. And I'm also not sure how much footage I'm going to need to cut out. This may end up being a shorter episode after all. But I've been playing for 40 minutes on this recording. So I think I'm going to reset the cycle and just continue next cycle and try and finish up Clock Town again. Um, specifically this one thing. As well as one other. So, okay, right A down, right A down. And there we go, returning to the dawn of the first day. Unfortunately, you lose all your bombs, so. You don't lose your bomb bag, but all your item counts get reset to zero. Which is... A mechanic I could take or leave. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you really loved it, then subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. After I eat. Peace.